Hi, my name's Corey. I'm Customer Success Team Manager at the Access Group. Uh, today I've been uh, asked to prepare a dish uh, off the back of David White's video he did a couple of days ago. I did notice in some of the comments that uh, some of the guys want to see some nice, quick, snappy dishes. So I thought I'd do that in uh, a dish under 10 minutes. So, first of all, we need a quick slur. And this is what we're going to cook today. So we're going to do some pan-fried sea bass fillets with some nice kind of uh, green vegetables, spring vegetables, uh, some gnocchi and a nice light dressing, what we call a sauce vierge. I'll talk about that more as we prepare it. Okay, so let's start off with the sauce vierge. So first of all, what we need to do is uh, prepare some uh, some herbs. If I was on the right so I'm just going to quickly chop these up. This is going to be for two people. That should be enough. And then we got some flat parsley. For sauce for edge, uh, really you need to use uh, soft herbs. Uh, so stay away from rosemary, thyme, and you want to be looking at things like uh, tarragon, parsley, basil, chervil, chives, those kind of nice soft eating which you can eat in a salad without having to cook. So again, we're just going to chop this up nice and fine. If you're chopping nice and quick, it's always good to put something under your, under your chopping board to secure the board, uh, to stop it from slipping around, stopping yourself from cutting yourself. Okay, bring them both together, just another quick chop, and transfer to a little dish. Like so. Next, what we need to do is to peel and de-seed some tomatoes. In the chef in terms, this is known as tomato con casse, and I'm just going to remove the, the stalk, or the core should I say, from the tomato, a little crisscross over the top, same for this one. And I got some water already on the boil, just going to plunge that in for about 20 to 30 seconds. Just get rid of this. And we'll slowly start to see the, the skins peeling away. Okay, now we see that the skins are starting to pull away. So we're going to quickly drop them into cold water. And we can start peeling the tomatoes. You see the skins come right off. Water these up. Remove the seeds. Run the knife through it. Okay, just put the skin looking about. Under that one. To be honest, we're probably only need about one and a half tomatoes. You can always keep the, uh, the seeds and things and use in a tomato sauce or add to a soup or a stock or something like that so you don't need to throw it away. But I think that should be enough. Okay, if I just take some of that off, off the board. And now all we're going to do is just cut it into kind of half centimetre dice. You can have it as chunky or as small as you want, to be honest. Okay, again, like so. I would normally put a little bit of garlic in this sauce, but uh, unfortunately none available on the click and collect. This was all, all these ingredients is from the supermarket, except the chives, they, they were grown in my back garden. Now you see we've got some nice tomato flesh, no seeds, no skin, just pure tomato, also known as concasse. Okay, into the dish. To be honest, this is probably going to be enough to feed about four to six people, so probably a little bit OTT. And then the next thing we need to add is some olive oil, up for extra virgin, and we almost just want to cover ingredients. A little bit of uh, salt and pepper. And we can give that a little mix. Would have been nice with a little bit of basil, but I couldn't get any. But uh, okay, nice little chunky kind of tomato and herb dressing. I'm going to put this up the top here and leave this to one side. 
Okay. Next thing we need to do is prepare the fish. Again, I would love to have got a whole fish, but uh, due to uh, restrictions, uh, the only thing I could get was fillets. But there is a little bit of prep. These are sea bass fillets. Uh, and all I need to do with this is just clean my knife a bit. Just need to remove some of this uh, belly fat off the edge here. And we're just gonna, on an angle, with a really nice sharp knife, watching your fingers, and just cut that down. We're gonna turn it over and we're gonna score the, the, the skin. This will, uh, stop the uh, fillet from curling up too much and also speed up the cooking process you want to go in about three three mil something like that not too deep try not to cut straight through the fish if you just gently pinch it toughens up the skin and makes the cut a little bit easier also helps uh, makes the presentation look a bit nicer on the dish and i'm just going to cut straight off the edge of that, that little thin piece there okay that's my first fillet pair the second one Again, just removing off that belly fat. Like so, sometimes you need to remove a little bit of the edge there. Again, just turning that over and again scoring the, the skin nice and quickly, not too deep. Okay, so we've got nice, two nice sea bass fillets, like so. Okay, the fish is done. I'll season that just before I'm going to cook it. I'm just going to put this to one side now. Uh, what I need to do now is uh, cook off some of the gnocchi, uh, blanch the, ve uh, the vegetables. So what I'm going to do is start with the gnocchi. I'm going to cook it for about three minutes in boiling water. Straight out of the, the pot into the frying pan and we're going to get a nice gold colour onto the gnocchi. Whilst I'm frying the gnocchi, I'll also be blanch what we call blanching or you know, just cooking in boiling water for about one minute, two minutes, all these vegetables and then I'll add those vegetables to the frying pan as well. We'll get a good mix going. Okay, so gnocchi, I'll probably say you want about 12 pieces per person, something like that. I'm doing two portions uh, for me and my son. So we're just gonna drop these in, like so. We've got the uh, frying pan on the heat. We're just gonna wait for a minute. Just bring the salt and pepper closer. And the vegetables. Okay, gnocchi's had about two, three minutes. So I'm just gonna put a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil into the frying pan. I'm gonna give this a really good drain off. You can see the little bit of water's going into that pan. When it's hot, it really is gonna sizzle like crazy. So nice and drained off, straight into the pan. Keep it moving. Okay. And we're just gonna leave this now, get a little bit of color. I'm pushing mine to the outside because I don't get a good bit of heat in the middle, the flames are too wide. So we're just going to leave that, give it a little shake every now and again. Non-stick pans are the best for this. And we'll just get a bit of colour. Right, while we're doing that, we're now going to add some vegetables to the water. Uh, just so you can see, we've got some nice sugar snap peas, some fine beans, some tender stem broccoli and some baby asparagus. Uh, asparagus, uh, that comes into season towards the end of the month. Uh, so let's just drop these in. The beans probably need a little bit longer than all the other vegetables, so we'll give that 30 seconds, then we'll drop in the rest of the veg. Uh, start to see a little bit of colour coming onto the gnocchi now. The reason why I'm using the sieve is uh, I can put all the vegetables in very nice and quick to, to straighten off the water and straight into a pan, so I'm not fishing around with a, a slobbered spoon or anything like that. Okay, so in with the rest of the veg. So I'll keep moving this gnocchi. Uh, gnocchi for people that don't know what it is, it's basically uh, pasta which is made with uh, mashed potato. Uh, if it's done properly, it's, it's a really tasty bit of pasta, uh, but it can be boiled to death and ends up like big balls of sludge, it's not good. Uh, I prefer to pan fry to give it a nice little bit of uh, crunch uh, texture. Uh, as you can see, I'm not serving this with a sauce, so it's uh, just going to have a bit of a dressing, a nice light summer dish, or well, spring dish, should I say. Okay, we're almost ready to go into the pan. I'm going to pull the gnocchi down to one side, so when I add the vegetables, it's going to uh, 
all the water should evaporate on one end of the pan so I don't end up with soggy gnocchi. Get that fish out any other bits of veg that are in there. And off we go. Okay, so in with the vegetables. And now we add a little bit of butter. I wouldn't be a chef if I didn't use butter. Uh, this is where all the flavour comes from. Obviously if you want to keep it healthy, don't bother with the butter, just stick with the olive oil or rapeseed oil. And we're just going to keep moving this. Bit of seasoning. Keep that moving. Okay, this is good. I've got a little tray with a bit of uh, j pop that's going to absorb any excess fat. And I'm just going to pull that in. And I'm going to pop this in a really low oven, about 100, less than 100 degrees, just to keep that warm while I cook the fish. Next step is to just wipe out any oil residue from the pan. And we're good to go with the bass. Okay, again, seasoning. We're going to a little bit on the flesh. Like so, turn it over. And just a little bit of salt over the skin. Okay, now again, olive oil. I'm just going to turn the pan down a little bit now. It's starting to get a bit too hot. And we're going to start frying these fillets. So I tend to hold the, the uh, tail end of the fillet, making sure when you drop them in, you lay it away from yourself, so any oil splashes away. Next, you find them naturally curl up like this. I find just a little press. Careful of your fingers that you're not gonna touch the frying pan. You'll soon know. Like so. Okay, the key to frying flat white fish, or any, any most fish, is don't mess around with it too much. Okay, you want to cook it about 70-80% on one side, on the skin side. And we're just now going to leave this. We'll start to see the, the fish cooking through and slowly work up. Uh, and probably when we see about 60-70% of it cooked, we'll quickly flip it. We'll throw in a little bit of butter, a little bit of uh, lemon juice, uh, baste up the fillets, and then we're pretty much good to play. Yeah, we're just taking a, a quick break there. So as we can see, we can start seeing the fish is starting to, to cook through on the sides. Just feeling that it's starting to firm up. This is ready to, uh, to, to flip over now. Okay, so I've got a nice little fish slice. Uh, anything you want, something long and thin, that you can just flip it over like so. There we have it, nice and crispy. Give it 30 seconds. And then we're going to drop in some butter. Again, this is where all the flavour comes through. Stir around the pan. And start collecting that nice foam and just basting the fish. And then to stop that butter from burning anymore, straight in with lemon juice. Now good, good to, and ready to serve. So, take the sea bass fillets out. Again, this is just to absorb any fat. There we go. Okay, get rid of this. Okay, uh, we're good to uh, start plating this dish up. So we're going to start off with the vegetables. And what we're keeping warm in the uh, in the oven. I've pre-warmed up the plates in the oven and we're just going to literally scatter this out and show them we've got a good even mix of vegetables on each plate.
Okay. Topped with the uh, sea bass first. And then finished with the sauce for the egg. Give it a good mix. And then you just want to kind of shake it over the plate. Catch a bit of that olive oil as well. Same for this one. And then if you want to add a little bit of sweetness and a bit of tang to it, put some balsamic glaze and you can just do a little drizzle around the outside. There we have it. Pan fried sea bass with spring vegetables, roasted gnocchi and a sauce for the edge. Thank you.